Hi everyone, my name is Erin Griffith, Program Coordinator at Fedora. Today we have an exciting video to share with you thanks to one of our newest community partners. I'm joined by Quinn Hart, Digital Applications Manager at the UC Davis Library, who's going to give us a behind the scenes tour of how Fedora plays a part in one of their special collections. The UC Davis Library has worked with Calisphere to determine a simple and flexible method for delivering the metadata content of their digital collections to help generate a comprehensive index of library items. Rather than use a library-specific standard, UC Davis agreed on using existing SEO best practices as a primary method, but with some minor caveats. Quinn will explain how they do it. One of the things that we like to do at the UC Davis Library um, is highlight important objects within our special collections that we think are of interest to um, the public. Um, here's an example um, from a blog post about a few years ago about Maynard Amarine's birthday. Uh, Maynard Amarine was probably the most famous wine scientist that the U.S. has ever produced, um, one of Davis's own. And among um, other things, he actually kept track of most of the wine that he drank, saving their labels and putting notes about who he drank them with and, and what he thought was important about them. Um, this is an interesting um, particular label. Um, he drank it in 47, it was actually vented in 34, just one year after Prohibition. He gave this an A+, which he almost never did. Um, so if we were actually interested in finding out maybe a little bit more information or viewing this in our special collections, we could go to our special collections um, site, which is driven by the Fedora system, and do a search for that particular um, wine label. And here we can find there's a number of different items that match that. But the first one is that label that we were looking at at first. And you can see our special collections page has um, an interface that's tuned directly for, for our audience. Um, kind of a simplification of what you might see in the data itself. But we actually do make the Fedora links available because we think it's important um, to give anybody access to all of the underlying data that we use to create those pages as well. Um, but <clears throat> we could also see if we know to look in our special collections we can find this um, label pretty easily. But it turns out that this label um, is available as well in Calisphere which is a summary of all the digital information for the University of California. And via Calisphere, it actually makes its way to the Digital Public Library of America so that you can discover these individual labels. And we also see that it's available in other locations as well. So for example, if we were looking at Google's data set search and search for wine labels, um, the entire collection with a little um, summary comes up. And again, it points back to the search interface that we have for that. So what I want to talk about is how we get from this particular thing to, um, item so that it's discoverable on all of those systems. And the way that we do that is by using the standard, the search engine optimization standard, which is um, developed to help uh, search engines discover all of the individual items within a particular um, website. And in this case, it's our special collection website. So I want to go back and look at the Fedora um, representation of the metadata that we've collected for this particular label. And you can see here that we use a lot of schema.org definitions for the keywords, the licensing, the names, um, the publisher. Most of the information that we, that we create is within schema.org. And one of the reasons that we do that is because that's the same schema that's used for the SEO systems. And so how search engine optimization works is that um, anybody who's interested in indexing our site, for example, Google or Bing or any of those, go to this particular sitemap file. The sitemap file identifies um, either directly individual items or in our case, a set of sitemaps that are associated with our particular um, special collections. The way that we organize sitemaps is by um, individual collections, and we do that so that we can work with Calisphere, for example, um, so that they can organize items within collections. Um, 
But this is really standard um, SEO that's work or search engine optimization that's, that indexes any of those. And you can see for um, the Ameren collection, we have one particular file for that. And if we go and look at that particular file, we see that basically all this is is a list of all of the individual labels that are exist, uh, existing in that collection and pointers back to those. And so these are actually just pointers back to this um, original page that we were looking at. So the final step is that um, when we go to this page, we have the interface that allows users to look at it. Um, but if we actually looked at the source, we can see that we also include um, within our HTML document towards the end, this standard script tag um, here that I that describes the metadata associated with these particular objects. And you can see that this is basically <clears throat> just a subset of the data that we are storing within our Fedora linked data platform. And so part of uh, what we do is we use the linked data platform, use Fedora, um, to serve the metadata um, both through its native interface, but also through all um, all of the interfaces that we use, and in particular, um, to provide the indexing that's required for all of the search engine optimization, or indexing to go on. And so it's just pretty much a one-to-one -one correlation between um, the data that we serve um, to our partners, to Calisphere, from there to DLPL, DLPA, but also to, to anyone who's interested in discovering more metadata about the system using the standard search engine optimization. And that's the methodology that we use to share all of the information that exists within our special collections to the world at large. Thanks for sharing that with us, Quinn. We love seeing how our Fedora community is working with the software and what unique and special collections they have preserved within it. A special thanks to everyone at the UC Davis Libraries for allowing us to have a look under the covers of your repository. For more info on what you've seen today, please check out the links I've provided in the video description below. As always, Fedora is an open source community supported program funded entirely by our member organizations. We continue to work on developing Fedora to protect and preserve special collections just like this. If you're interested in learning more about how you can become a part of this effort, please see the link in the video description. Thanks for watching. See you next time.